Hey, Pokedad fan club, it's me, Pokedad, and I just got a quick news update. Uh, a couple days ago, we talked about um, Raticate and Aegislash and uh, Zipstrika. Um, well, I wasn't expecting this, but one of my um, viewers did call this out. Uh, so, Darnell Johnson, I got to give you uh, props because you thought this might happen. Uh, they did give Raticate a break card. So we're looking at Raticate break today. Again, this is going to be XY9, Rage of the Broken Sky in Japan. Going to be called Breakpoint in English. So let's just take a quick look at the card first. Looks pretty good. You can see it's 110 HP, colorless type. So this is the first break that a colorless gets. And you can see it gets an extra attack of double colorless alright so let's talk about what this card does alright now before we look at the extra attack it does if you remember correctly um, the eradicate has like for one colorless energy poison your opponent or something like that and then it also has an, uh, an ability that it can't have any special conditions put on it so, um, anyway, so it adds Super Fang. Now, we've seen Super Fang before on Raticate, uh, and it says put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. All right, that's pretty awesome. Now, the old Raticate had this same attack, Super Fang, but it, I believe it was based on a coin flip. I mean, you had to flip heads before it happened. Now, with Raticate Break, Super Fang does it no matter what. So basically you've got a stage two here that can bring anything. The biggest Waylord, the biggest EX, Mega EX, all the way down to just 10 HP. And when you combine it with its first attack, which does poison, you can now bring it down to, you can knock it out. Um, another one of the combos I see coming out in the very near future will be Ariados Raticate and Ariados will put will poison both the actives so Raticate will get poison but remember he has that ability that keeps him from getting poison and then you put poison on the other person use Super Fang and guess what knockout the biggest EX you can imagine just like that so is this going to see play? Absolutely. You can definitely go ahead and start preparing because people will play this card. I don't personally like it myself uh, just because, I don't know, it just seems too easy to use. But I have a feeling that this will see competitive play. And um, I don't know, we're going to have to already begin thinking about strategies on how you're going to um, overcome this. One thing to point out is he cannot do any physical damage other than these damage counters. So if you, so it may cause uh, stuff like Sparkling Robe to see more play. Um, Slurpuff, the fairy Pokemon that can prevent all special conditions. Uh, even just healing would would even thirty damage. So you might even see potions of all things come into play. Um, AZ obviously could help in this situation. Well, possibly. Um, but you got to prevent the being poisoned, really. Otherwise, this thing's going to take you out. Anyway, guys, so that's all I have for you. Just eradicate break. Um, it is only 110 HP, so it's pretty easy to knock out. But that being said, it could, uh, it could cause a lot of people troubles uh, in the upcoming meta. Uh, so anyway, guys, this is Pokedad. Hit like, subscribe, and uh, leave any comments below. Tell me what you think of Eradicate Break. What kind of deck do you have in mind for it? And we'll talk to you later. Bye.